A nationwide strike in France against pension reform disrupted power production, public transport and schools on Tuesday. The backlash comes as the government announces plans to increase the retirement age by two years to 64. Walkouts in the energy sector led to a drop in electricity output and stopped oil deliveries from Total Energy facilities. French power supply has been reduced by about 4.5 per cent as production was lowered at nuclear reactors and thermal plants. That's according to data from state-controlled utility EDF. For transport, only a third of high-speed TGV trains were operating and even fewer local and regional trains, with platforms packed as commuters jostled to catch the few trains available. Half of primary school teachers also walked off the job, as well as public broadcasters, which played music instead of news programmes. Unions, which have organised rallies across France throughout the day, want to keep up the pressure on the government and are likely to announce yet more industrial action for the coming weeks. Isabelle Texier is a bus driver on strike. This is for our retirement, because we won't drive until we're 64 years old. It's just not possible. Opinion polls show most French people oppose the changes. However, President Emmanuel Macron intends to stand his ground, branding the reform vital.